This is why it is so easy to ignore the crashing prices in crypto because it is absolutely insignificant compared to where we are going. We get reports like this out almost daily from big financial firms. Metaverse could be worth $5 trillion by 2030, McKinsey report. McKinsey is one of the most elite consulting firms in the world. People pay them so much money to come up with ideas. Just look up McKinsey and look at what they just came out with. Global spending in the metaverse could reach $5 trillion by 2030. That's 10 years away. Just like we're in a crashing crypto market, the internet crashed at 1.2 when the infrastructure wasn't quite built out. But if you had bought back then, you would have done extremely well. It goes back to what should Jeff Bezos have done? What should all the internet entrepreneurs have done? Should they have timed the market or should they have seen the vision and kept building into it? And that's exactly what they did with this revolutionary technology. So what's gonna happen when all this activity comes all the assets that are building now are going to benefit massively. So look at this chart showing the value of the land in all the current metaverse assets broken out. So obviously we have other deed. This is the number one valued metaverse. $827 million worth of land, okay? This is the APE token. The APE token literally governs the decisions in this metaverse. Each token gives you a vote. That's why it's valuable. Then you have Sandbox at 457 million. Then you have Decentraland. Don't think for a second that the tokens that govern these ecosystems aren't worth anything. They definitely are. Then you have SHIB down here, which is just getting started and very early stage. And so this is so exciting when you have the opportunity to invest in this stuff and buy it on deep red because these will certainly take advantage. There's a reason JP Morgan bought a lounge in Decentraland. There's a reason massive banks are buying up plots of land because they already know what McKinsey just reported on, how big this is gonna be. It's extremely exciting. Here's some news today related to some of these metaverse assets. We have the Sandbox. We are delighted to welcome Lionsgate, the big film studio, who will become the first film and TV studio to enter the sandbox. Action City will host film-themed experiences from a number of franchises, starting with Hellboy. Okay, one big mass adoption move where Lionsgate, a massive studio, is gonna start building out experiences in sandbox. Here's an update on Decentraland. The Infinity Machine, a movie about the story behind the world's second largest digital asset, Ethereum, and its creators, Vitalik Buterin, Gavin Wood, Charles Hoskins, will become the world's first NFT finance film. This NFT finance film will premiere in Decentraland. So just another use case, premiering movies. This is a Ridley Scott-directed movie, very legit, and it's going to premiere in Decentraland. Here's another update on Decentraland. Yahoo revealed that it will host a series of virtual events and concerts for Hong Kong residents in the Decentraland metaverse. We hope to use the metaverse to connect people regardless of time and physical location. All the assets building right now are going to take advantage of this. Price action is literally meaningless in the short term when you know where we are going. It is so exciting. We will stay on top of all these news updates.